Hey there folks, this is Mr. Begu and I was going to walk you through how to set up a flowchart or concept map using Google Draw. First let's get into our Google accounts. Click on the student portal, click on your Gmail, click on your apps icon, and go to your drive. Once you're in your Google Drive, you're going to want to click on the create button and you're going to notice that down towards the bottom is a drawing option. When you hit drawing, I like to title my drawing, so I'm going to go ahead and call this flowchart. And the first thing I want to start is with the title. So I'm going to go ahead and hit insert word art. And I'm going to go ahead and call this flowchart in Google Draw. Okay. And you'll notice that whenever I draw something, um, it comes in as a shape. I can click and move it. I can drag the edges to rearrange what it looks like and I can also if I like go and check out the paint bucket tool and change the fill color so I'll go with something like black okay so flowcharts usually start with some type of shape so I'm gonna go ahead and say insert shape and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this square one here since I click and draw a shape, it instantly becomes filled and it becomes drawn. And these edges I can always click and drag to reposition the size of it. Now notice there's no text there, but I can add text. All I need to do is say insert, text box, click and draw. And now I can go ahead and say start here. If I don't like the font size, I can just highlight that and then just use my font tools over here to change the size, go to something big or change the style, if that's what I like, and even center it inside of the frame, just like I would normal Word doc. Click OK, oops, undo, and there we go. Now, flowcharts usually start with arrows that show the progression of your ideas or thinking. So I'm going to go ahead and click on insert once again, choose shape. This time I'm going to choose an arrow. And I'm going to choose a down arrow. I'm going to go ahead and click the shape, draw it down. And I'm going to change the color once again, make it more noticeable by choosing something red. Now you'll notice, there's my arrow. If I click on it, I can change its direction. Right? I can change its thickness by grabbing these little gold handles. You'll notice on there changing the position of the arrow. And one thing you'll notice though too is that right now they overlap. The red is on top of the blue. What if I wanted to send that back or arrange the position? So if I go to arrange, order, I can say send backward. Let me try that again. Arrange, order, send backward. Now you'll notice that now they overlap. Okay, besides shapes and arrows, I can also insert images. So I'm going to go ahead and say insert image. I could upload an image. I could take an image from my webcam. I could add the URL of an image. But I'm going to go ahead down over here and choose search, which I could literally search for my images as well. And what's kind of unique is I can change and search by colors if I like. I can also change and, and choose just for clip art. So now I'm looking for a green computer and clip art. And I found it. So I'll click select. And just like the boxes, it adds the image in, and then I can rechange its, reshape its size, and so forth. Okay, so just like that, I can create a concept map or a flow chart very easily and draw. Now, when I'm done, the easiest thing to do to send it to somebody is to download it, and I'll go ahead and download this as a PNG, which is a web graphic file. And you'll notice that when I open it. That's the file I've just created. Okay, so I can go ahead and attach that to an assignment in, in School Loop or insert it into another project that I'm working on. Hopefully, that's been easy for you guys to follow and go ahead and watch the video again if you want to see some of those details. Good luck with your flowcharts.